Here are two great ways to use Photoshop Smudge Tool. We'll select the tool, and to make this cutout hair look more realistic, let's choose one of these spatter brushes, set the strength of the tool to about 80%, and by working the way down from the top of the head, we can make this cutout hair look much more realistic by tweaking out strands of hair as we work our way down the side of the figure. Now let's try and make this sweater look realistic. Switch to the Burn tool, set to mid-tones, and paint in some rough shading to give an idea of where the folds in this sweater might lie. You don't have to be at all accurate at this stage. When you're using this tool, if you hold the Option or Alt key, you get the Dodge tool temporarily, and this allows you to paint in some highlights. So far, well, not very convincing. Let's switch back to the smudge tool, use a regular brush, and now lock the transparency of this layer. You can now use the smudge tool to smear these folds into forms that are much more like real fabric. Because we lock the transparency of the layer, we can't go over the edge. Now this is the kind of process you can spend as long or as little as you want on. You can endlessly tweak this and play around with the shading until you get something that looks more or less like realistic folds and wrinkles in this sweater. Let's add some colour to this using the Hue and Saturation dialog. We'll check the Colorize button. And now let's use the Brightness and Contrast adjustment to boost the strength of this fabric. If you've enjoyed this, please subscribe to this channel.